Hey everyone and welcome back to part two of this Vegas vlog. I don't know how many parts there will be because I did get quite a lot of footage. So as you know, uh, we are visiting Las Vegas for uh, a stopover to Hawaii. So we didn't fly to Hawaii directly. We decided to stop over in Vegas and enjoy the resorts and the spas and the restaurants and the people watching and the walking and the shopping and the window shopping. There is so much to do here. We are staying at the Wynn, so I'm just showing you around here. Came in yesterday, was really frazzled, didn't do much, just kind of took it easy. But today is a full day. I'm up bright and early. We're going to go for a walk and enjoy the vlog. <laughs> This is Vegas at 6 a.m. Not super excruciating hot yet. It's like 21 degrees, so it's a perfect time for go, to go for a walk. Um, it's 9 a.m. Toronto time, so I feel pretty wide awake. And yeah, we use the opportunity to just kind of walk and get a little bit of steps in and enjoy the cooler weather for now before it gets super hot. I love the wind, but it is all the way at the end of the strip. I'm just walking over to Walgreens now that I remembered because I wanted to pick up water bottles because there is no water in the hotel. I don't want to pay $20 for a bottle of water. You got Caesar's Palace over on your right. I think on the left is Harrah's. And when you're walking here uh, in the early morning, um, you do have uh, quite a lot of homeless people who are on the street, so don't be surprised. You will come across people early in the morning. Um, so there's this part here, actually. Uh, when you're walking around, this is the link. And here it's just like you you can't go like straight across on the on the street or on the strip you got to go into the resort and then out so you know walking up and down the strip is not as straightforward as it may seem so you do get quite a lot of steps in and you really need comfortable shoes guys because there's a lot of walking so just be prepared for that that I got. These are the Lab Diamond sets. I really like these. I've been wearing them a lot. And yeah, so let's So we're just heading to the Paris Hotel um, to a breakfast, well, a restaurant that's really great for breakfast. It's called Madame Gabi. It's across from the Bellagio. Uh, we've been here a couple of times before. And uh, the last few times we went to Vegas, we, we didn't go, we ended up going to like Tableau, which is really great at the Wynn, um, but very popular. So uh, we're gonna do breakfast. They serve breakfast until 11, so I'm excited. And just over there, that's the restaurant there. And then you can get a view of the fountains. how they make this look like Paris. I was at the conference here a couple of months ago. So there's the 
there's inside. I don't know if we'll get outside seating. Hopefully we will, but... and your orange juice. Try it. It's very hydrating. You get your electrolytes in. <laughs> this is the menu. So we've changed the menu since we've been here. Um, I guess we haven't really been here the last couple of times because we typically don't eat so early. Um, but they don't have, they used to have this like candied ginger, which was really nice. They used to serve it in like this grapefruit. It was like, and then the pieces of grapefruit. Good morning. How good are morning. You? How are you? I'm good, thank you. Coffee here at all? Uh, uh, I've got, yeah, I had the decaf coffee at the bar, so. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I, decaf coffee? Decaf, that would be great. Yeah, sure, with sure. cream on the side. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Right, nothing for yourself, sir? We're good, sure. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so unfortunately I don't have that, and then I noticed a couple of things are missing, but you know, it's good to try new things. Um, so this is the menu. We got a pretty decent seat. It's not super hot yet. And I wanted to show you one thing. We do have like a decently sized table for once. Usually when there's like two of you, they give you a tiny table and there's no room to put anything so but since this is a light colored bag i don't want to like and it's lambskin i don't want to like set it down on the chair and stuff right so i got this little um thing here it's called carry and i wanted a purse hook but they're all kind of flimsy so i wanted something a little bit more substantial so it looks like this i've seen ads of this before um it's very sturdy, so it comes in its own little pouch, it slips into your bag, and the hook is quite nice. Like, it's a pretty decent hook, because I find when you have bags like this with like a thicker top handle, um, it doesn't fit this properly, and then you end up denting the edges, and it's only meant for like chain handles. So this fits really nicely, so I'm just going to show you right here. Right? And I don't know how it works, but it just balances really well. Now, with the mini, because the chain is so long, I'm not going to hang it like this because it's going to hit the floor. So I can just place it like that. So it's really handy. So if I'm sitting at the bar at a restaurant, then I'm not worried about, um, you know, putting my bag anywhere. So we're at a French restaurant and they're out of croissants. And I wanted the eggs benedict on a croissant. Now I'm going to settle for the English muffin. <laughs> Getting some lemon water in. Apparently this is supposed to slow the absorption of carbs. I'm going to try to activate that salivary amylase. <laughs> so food is here. I got my eggs benedict. And we got ham and cheese. Uh, omelet, and then we have a little bit of like a caprese salad, and then we have a brioche uh, toast over there, which looks really good. Okay, so we're just walking back. Um, I don't know, like the food, I wasn't really the biggest fan this time. They didn't have croissants, first of all, so I was very disappointed. 
but um, I honestly, my husband and I agree that if you want to have like a really good breakfast, go to Tableau at Wynn. It just never fails. They have so many options and also like healthier options as well. Like even like the toast and the bread, like it was cold. Like I wasn't really, wasn't really a fan. So yeah, not the, not the most satisfied, but this is really nice. Let's do a little what fits. I'm gonna take my heart clutch because this is a little white piece that I have. And I won't take the graffiti one because it'll compete with my outfit with all that um, print and I don't need to carry a lot. This doesn't fit a lot, um, I'll be honest with you, but it's just cute. And it's white, why not? Wear it in Vegas where it won't get dirty. So I'm gonna to try to put, put three cards in here. So my driver's license, ID, like the ID and credit card and my hotel room key, I'm gonna, Put in there so there's no need for like a card holder just put your cards in there like that so the main compartment is um you know it, the shape is awkward okay so um it's awkward to get into and out of we know that and it's because of the zipper there's no flap whereas the trendy cc clutch it's got that flap closure so it's very easy this is a zip closure so i'm gonna let me take you somewhere where I can have I can have a stand. I'm gonna try to put in my charger as well because when you're on the go, like if you find a plug somewhere, you can at least charge your phone a little bit. Um, so that is a necessity. Okay, so charger, lipstick, mini hand cream, some cash. Um, I guess there's a little bit more room to spare if you want to slide something in there, but that's pretty much it. And this is really just a clutch. Like don't think of it as a handbag, right? So I took the hotel key um, out of there and I put it in the back uh, pocket just because it's easy to access. But yeah, so you yeah, know, not bad. Okay, so quick outfit of the day. I'm wearing this uh, tunic. Uh, you can wear it as a top, you can also wear it as a dress. Um, this is a silk tunic from Hermes, and I like it because it's a light color and it's 100% silk. It's um, not see-through, uh, easy to wear. Now, you could wear this on its own. Um, it, is, it, is, it is not indecently short, but it is short for me to wear as a dress. If you're shorter, it'll be fine. But I did put shorts underneath just so that I'm more comfortable um, and you know, you, you have some fabric so your thighs aren't like rubbing together. Um, got my heart clutch. So, you know, it's a plain white, it doesn't compete with this. I belted this in the back and I've got my uh, Oasis sandals. I'm not gonna wear my foamies, the Skecher foamies that I love. I wanna do some walking, I don't know, I might just, Let's just change, who cares? Because I wanna be comfortable. And uh, you know what, these are great, but the thing is that now that they've kind of um, gave, my foot slides forward a bit when I walk. So if I'm really walking, like, you know, as you do in Vegas, then I'm not gonna wear these, these are too thin. Although I've done it before, but I think I'll be far more comfortable wearing those foamies. Like, I really don't care. If I'm just gonna be strolling around, then these are fine. It's not that they're uncomfortable, it's just if you're walking, like really hardcore walking everywhere, these, are, you shouldn't wear such a thin sh shoe. You need something with a thicker sole. So there it is. And as for sunglasses, I think I'll do these again, right? These kind of fit the aesthetic, I think. All set to head out. I'm gonna change up the shoes, okay, even though it might kill the vibe, but it's okay. Just on my way to the business center to mail off a package. So you can use the business center to mail packages or have items shipped to the hotel, so that's good to know. And on our way, we see the buffet. So the wind buffet is honestly my favorite. It is so pretty. I think I'll show it to you in this vlog because we did end up eating here. Um, you can actually make reservations now, whereas before the pandemic you couldn't and of course you can stand in line if you have special access or a special membership or a different tier then you can have vip access and bypass the line but it is such an epic experience so we're headed over to the win plaza shops so this is a fairly new extension i think 
when I was here in 2020, it, I think it had just opened up, I can't remember, but there was a lot of renovations. So there's this whole other wing of shopping. Um, so the first part of the video, I showed you the Esplanade, and that's where you'll see Chanel, and you'll see Van Cleef, and they have um, Pink Cartier as well. And the, you know, you have the carousels and all that before. So on the other side, you are walking towards the Wynn Plaza. So as you can see, you have Yves Saint Laurent, uh, which is there. I didn't go inside this time, I think, but they do have the I Care Maxi bag um, on uh, display here as well. Bottega, and it is absolutely stunning. I just want you to see how beautiful this area is. Um, they do have their own separate entrance that you can um, access via the street. Uh, but you can definitely walk through the hotel. So there's two levels. There's an upper level and there's a lower level as well. And the upper level will have Remova. Uh, it'll have um, Wolford. There's like a cafe up there and a bunch of other stores that I can't recall right now. And right to the left, you have Belmont which is so nice to see a boutique because we don't have a boutique in Canada. We have um, third-party department stores that sell their garments, so it's nice to see the flagship here. And uh, you also have Breitling as well. And um, up ahead, you have Hermès. So Hermès used to be in the Encore and they closed the Hermes down there um, and then moved it over to the Wynn. And so this is a pretty uh, massive store that they have here, which is really, really nice. Uh, so the Wynn, uh, so at the Encore, their old location, now that is Amiri. And here we have a Zimmerman boutique. So never been to a Zimmerman boutique except in Vegas. So they have a lot of items. I thought I'd try on some pieces that I've, you know, was looking at online, but I never knew what the size would be like. These dresses are really cute. I love this organza material, but the problem is, is the neckline is way too low. This is a dress version of the skirt that I was looking at in black. Really nice. So I picked up the skirt, um, and this is a top that they told me to try on with it. It's a little bit matronly, but kind of nice. Um, but it does have its own separate top that's similar to the top of the black dress, but they didn't have it. I do have a little orange bag there. Unboxing is posted on my YouTube, so go ahead and check that out. I will link it at the end of the video. And here we are going back up, getting a turnaround, look at the rest. I apologize for the slanty uh, phone. I'm not the greatest at vlogging, but I'm trying my best. Uh, maybe next time I should carry around one of those selfie sticks <laughs> i think people would um, laugh at me if i did that but here we are walking back so you're going to go back and there would be like the main casino floor uh, to the left this is how you would go towards the encore now we're going to that main area which is where the esplanade is you have the lake of of dreams up ahead where you have a restaurant and then chanel they did have renovations recently you can like sit and watch mm -hmm. the show here, right? <laughs> yes. Continuing on with the plaza shops, you have Dior, you also have Louis, which is also undergoing renovations, McQueen, and Montclair. It feels so nice because there's a breeze, but it's like a dry feels like I'm standing in front of a blower heater and just this heat just feels so good on your body when you have tired achy muscles <laughs> like it, it's so nice um, yeah you do get quite thirsty I am a little bit parched so I'm carrying water around but it's just it just feels so good so here we are more so at like the center of the strip. This is where a lot of the action is. So this is basically where Bellagio and Paris, uh, the hotels are facing each other as well as Aria and Cosmopolitan, uh, Planet Hollywood. So 
I would say this is kind of the main center of attraction where you'll see you have the most people watching basically um so the wind like it's it's at the end of the strip it's not a bad walk but it is definitely a walk for sure so you know you got miracle mile at planet hollywood uh this is kind of one of the one of the few intersections where you can actually cross directly onto the road otherwise there's like escalators everywhere So now we're going to walk to the Aria and the there's a bridge that connects Cosmo to Aria and you enter into the crystals shops. So the crystal shops are also beautiful. Um, there's a lot of different stores here. There is actually a Chanel boutique that opened, I believe, in April of 2022. I remember seeing the sign for it when I came the year before. So. Uh, Encore and Wynn had one boutique each and the boutique at Encore was one of my favorites. It was smaller and it had a lot of these special runway pieces but that boutique was then relocated to the Aria Crystals. So I think it was a great idea because I mean there's so many stores here, Chanel was missing so now the Wynn and Encore have the one boutique at the Wynn. Uh, so there was the Van Gogh exhibit, Van Gogh exhibit going on here. Uh, as you can see, there's just like every single designer brand possible. So you have Prada uh, upstairs. You have Louis. Uh, you also have Hermes here as well. Uh, I've never been to this restaurant before. This is called Maestro something. It's like a seafood restaurant. Downstairs you have Dior. And you also have, I'm trying to find where the Chanel is. Maybe I'll show it to you later. They also have a Ramoa here as well. So if you need extra luggage, you can purchase it. They have a Van Cleef. They have a Fendi. Um, they also have, they've got a Starbucks here. They've, they've got so many stores. Like if you look up the directory, there's Chanel. I found it. I was trying to figure out where it was because I wanted to go see a sales associate that I deal with, um, you know, frequently every time I come to Vegas. So all the Encore staff has moved here. Tiffany & Co. is here as well. Um, and they had this Barbie exhibit. And they have like a booth outside. Last time when I was here for the conference, I wore my um, Barbie Balmain dress. And it was a crime if I didn't get inside that booth. I think I have a photo on my Instagram. But decided to take a look this time because I didn't see uh, what was inside last time when I came a couple of months earlier. But it's nice to see these Barbie exhibits. There was, I think there still is one in Montreal. Um, 
And I did see that a number of years ago. It was really, really cool. But they have all sorts of merchandise. Look at this one. And I think there is like a fee to get in to see the whole exhibit. Um, but I didn't do that this time. And so many different Barbies all around. Did you guys have Barbies when you grew up? We didn't when we were growing up. We had the dollar store Barbies, okay? <laughs> Look at this wedding. Oh, that's beautiful. Stunning. So yeah, if you guys are a Barbie fan, I think now we do have a Barbie Expo currently in Mississauga in Square One, somewhere around there. So I can get my fix here if I wanted to. But yeah, this is, so there's different wings of this. And the nice thing about Crystals and Aria is there's a tram. And I'll show you perhaps later on in this uh, vlog uh, or maybe in the next part. But there is a tram that connects Aria. So it stops at Crystals and then it goes to um, Bellagio and uh, Vidara, which is another uh resort uh there's no casino in that one and here we have hermes there's of course a huge line there and let's go uh there's chanel i think there was a line up there i wasn't sure um i didn't make an appointment or anything i just wanted to see uh how uh things were inside this is my first time visiting the brand new chanel boutique at the crystals and um the new collection hasn't launched yet. It will launch uh, when I will be in Hawaii, um, but we are stopping over in Vegas again, so I'll see um, what else is here that's new. But uh, I can't remember collection. This is uh, the collection before 22K, so I think they still had um, some spring summer 2022. As you can see, there's a lot of yellows. My essay wasn't there. Tell my husband, I'm like, go in big. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be like, that? he's gonna be like, is it plated in gold? You know? Yeah. It's um, it's not gold, but it's all hand. Before, mm -hmm. before um, you have to wait until noon, or you have to wind in until noon or midnight mm -hmm. to see the lovers kissing. Right now, love is in demand, and you press that button right there and they kiss <laughs> for three seconds and they go back to the time, the hours, I mean, and the minutes. Oh my God, that is yeah. so cute. <laughs> and how much is this watch? This is only, only, this, only today guess. for you, 131,000. Wow. Yeah. And then these are all diamonds and this is yes. a croc strap. Oh, yeah. that's beautiful. And what is this called? This is the Lover's Bridge. Lover's Bridge. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's cute. I'm going to show. Ready, Bobby? Okay. <laughs> 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 